Right, hello everyone and welcome to what is uh, got to be one of the best and the worst <laughs> ideas in history. This for Sim Day Sunday is going to be trains versus zombies. So the story is a strange condition has afflicted most of England, turning people into shuffling, mindless creatures. Didn't get a chance to read that. Anyway, um, goodness, how fortunate we were close to. An impenetrable secret bird and bunker built into the bowels of Paddington Station. And I'm one of the few that know the entry code. Anyone here know how to drive a train? Well, I do. So basically, we're a ragtag group of survivors. And, uh, yeah. So, we have to go to Paddington. So basically, we've, uh, we've stolen a train. And uh, we've got zombies all around us. So, <laughs> yeah. So they're burning buses, just zombies casually walking around the place. So, yeah. Like I said, one of the best and one of the worst things I've ever, ever had the pleasure of playing. But, yeah, trains versus zombies. Let's do this. So, uh, have I got my headlights on? I suppose safety doesn't really matter nowadays. We've got to get there in one piece. So I think we're at Oxford. Yes, yeah, so we're at. We are at Oxford. Police have been overrun. And look, jack o' lanterns. So, yes. Uh, jack o' lanterns, Christ. I've been watching too much American stuff. So it is. Uh, this is going to be my. Uh, my Halloween special for the for the year um, because this Sim Day Sunday is the day before uh, Halloween sorry I'm just uh, warning us that we're speeding but it doesn't really matter because there's no one alive anymore it's a zombie apocalypse <laughs> um, man that thing's properly on fire Oh, oh, wait, wait, yeah, they're, they're, they're very green. Um, yeah, so, um, let's do this. So, yeah, I'm going to run this. There's four parts to the Trains vs. Zombies uh, DLC that came out many a century ago. Look, they're even setting the trains on fire. Oi, oi, oi. So, we're basically going to Didka. That's where we're trying to get to. So, ultimately, we're trying to get from one end of the, uh, Eastern line to the other, so we're gonna quickly go down to Didcot as quickly as possible. So yes, uh, I'm gonna run this uh, this special edition over two days. So there'll be two episodes here today, and then we'll do the concluding two episodes on Halloween itself. Trains versus zombies. Ah, <laughs> oh, it still makes me laugh every time I hear it. Um, yeah, so... Shit's gone cray-cray. It is very cray-cray. At the moment, we've not been any that, that much of a sign of zombies on the tracks. I remember that being a thing at one point in the DLC. I've played the first two parts of it before. I've never actually played the last two parts. But GA. So. Yes, so not unlike the Left 4 Dead uh, series, it seems that everyone has been turned into zombies, save for a few people who are inherently immune, but we can't let the zombies touch us. So. I have a train loaded with some survivors who's very relaxed for a zombie apocalypse. Um, and we got to get to this wacky secret bunker. Uh, how far are we away? Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. We're two miles away, and then. Okay, so we still got a little bit to go. So if memory serves me correct, there's going to be a level crossing near here. 
Hang on, wait, what? Go via Radley 2. We'll get to Radley 2 before we get to MP20. Ah, zombie on the tracks! I was right, I was right. We've got zombies! Oh, that, that guy looks Frankenstein-esque. Um, so yeah, we'll keep going, we're just keeping it going at a full speed, a hard. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to worry about other trains on the line. Although, it would have been a real issue if uh, all the lights were at red. Which I'm sure, in an emergency, they probably would... What's, what's that light on the ground? Did they set something on fire again? Oh, they've got a high-speed train and they set it on fire. Shit zone! Oh no, it's just flares. Yay. Zombies everywhere! So this station's been completely overrun, so we ain't stopping. No sign of any survivors there. Janet survived. We just passed there. Oh! They're at Radley Station. Alright, hang on. Let's do this as quick as way possible. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Anchors! Okay. So there is one survivor. They've just rang they've rang our professor dude. So I've slammed on the emergency brake. She can call through a window, you just need to stop for a little while at the platform, but do not open the doors. Okay. That can be arranged. So this will bring us to a halt the fastest way possible. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, 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 okay. Brake release. So reverser. Full power. Okay, let's change end. So let's do this. Nope. Okay. So we'll do this just to keep us, um, yeah, just so we get that little bit of extra visibility on the ground. So we need to remember and not open the doors. So the door release is, it is that button here. It's these, it's these sets of buttons, so they're going to open up a window in the back of the train. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. So, we don't really have to worry about stealth too much because we're in a godforsaken train. Um, so I imagine they're going to probably know that we're here pretty quickly. So what we'll do is when we get to... Well, when we get to... Yeah, MP58, that little point here probably seems like the smartest one to do it. So, let's just do full bricks. Uh, brake pipes at full, so this will hopefully stop us in the quickest possible time. We don't see her, but she's probably not waiting on the platform. So we need to stop, but not open the doors. Alright, we're stopped, we're stopped, we're stopped. Doors aren't opening, which is good. That's what we want. 
Let's get the reverser on or oh, full forward, which it now is. So there's no zombies on the train. No zombies getting on the train. Alright, punch it, Chewie! Yeah, wheel slip. Sounds like. Alright, here we go. So now we're picking up. Speed properly right now. We can just slam it forward. Right, okay. So. Let's get our lights changed. Uh, right. So. We've now got Dudum's daughter on board, and we're still trying to make our way to Paddington Station. So yeah, it seems uh, as daft as the premise sounds, <laughs> train versus zombies. Honestly, it does. It still does make me laugh whenever I think about it. Um, they've actually thought things through, not too unreasonably. Um, so yeah, slam it full throttle. And uh, let's go to let's go to Didkit. So we've got Dudums, we've got Dudums' daughter, and we've got uh, a small other group of civilian survivors. They killed a cow. Damn zombies! Damn. Um. Okay. <laughs> No, this is where we got the last time, isn't it? I can't remember, but we're leaving now. We're full throttle, so we're we're deep into the countryside. So hopefully, 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 there won't be too much in the way of zombies. But we just need to keep a little eye out on the horizon, just in case any of the blighters turn up, because that would be most unwelcome. Most unwelcome. Ooh, crap! Whatever's up ahead looks like it's on fire. Big time. Could just be flares again, because we've made that mistake. Nope, it's on fire. So this station is also lost cause by the look for. Where are we? We're calm. Nothing to see here, zombies. Nothing to see here too. That's unlike no, no, okay. I was worried it might be an emergency break. But no, we're fine, we're fine. Uh so yeah, once again we still don't have to worry about speed limits because um Everybody's dead! It's great, there's nobody pulled me up for speeding. There are some perks of the zombie apocalypse, if few. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up hard on Didkit. So, yeah, we are coming up hard on Didkit. There's something else on fire! What even is that? It's like it's just a, a building or other. Okay. But it's on fire! Okay. So, we'll keep us on direct braking. Sure, maybe it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. I'm sure I saw a car going around. Zombies! Yeah, there's cars. So there are some survivors, but they ain't gonna survive long. What with the zombies? Shut up! Right, let's keep it on this. So, okay, okay. So, I can't quite remember what's happening here. Is that something on the track ahead? I can't see. Oh god, it is. I think it is. It looks like there's something blocking the track. Or is it just my imagination? It may just be my imagination. Nope. 
Track's been wrecked. Uh oh. Eh! No! Continue! I want. Yes, here we go. So. So they've stolen a police car, placed some lanterns, and destroyed a train track. How menacing of them. How very menacing. Now, I actually need to stop at the end of the line. I think I might need to, so let's wind it forward. Yeah, so there's still some survivors in the road. So we're not the only ones alive, but we are apparently the most important ones alive, so... Let's just slowly wind us forward. Right, okay, that'll hopefully do us. So, we'll just get... stapped. I don't want to get too close to the end of the track. So, how does the rest of the kit look? Not too bad. Not too much is on hideous fire, but... Oh well. Let's see what the dog has to say! What is that? A zombie apocalypse? Is that a witch? Yeah, it does actually look like a witch. Well played. Well played, Doc. Run her over! We can't, we're in a train. She's not on the damn tracks. <laughs> yeah, there's a train, not a steam trawler. See if there's another way around. As it so happens, there is. Let's not wheel spin. So. We've now got to get to Didkit Parkway, which is all the way down here. And it looks... It looks pretty much... Oh look, that man's burned alive. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty screwed, as you might imagine, for a zombie apocalypse. So, let's try and get our way to Didkit Parkway. Where are we? We're over there! Okay. So this junction should hopefully change once we're past, so let's just fire off that. Just make sure the junction changes. Yes, junctions change. So we're free to change direction as we please. I think I'm wheel spinning. Zombies! Ah, so this must be the window that the, the, the person's daughter must manage to crawl through. Some acrobatic nonsense going on there. Alright, come on. Let's peg it. Now, once again, we don't have to worry about speeding because everybody's dead. Yay! Uh, right, okay. Maybe that was the wrong time to yay. <laughs> Oop, no brakes. Shut up. Yeah, if I was designing on a railway network, I would have it in an emergency that just all the lights go to red. So, thankfully, I'm not the person who designed this system. Yeah, yeah, we're speeding. It's fine. It is totally fine. Might not be when the track tightens, but meh. We will quite certainly hear the rails complain. Shut up. Okay. 
So, I think we're going into the least of the on-fire stations. Yes, we are. So, I don't actually know if we're picking somebody up here or what's happening. But let's find out! Bonk! Okay, so I think Professor Professor McGee's still trying to work out what's happening. Other than the whole world is fucked. Yeah, that train, that train got ganked hard. Let's go say it's go. Ooh, uh, track ahead is a wreck. Ooh, yes, it is. The train on the next platform looks your safest bet for getting to Paddington. So we're, I think, all going to jump onto a freighter train. So our guys have to make ninja style from this train onto that one. So I think that's the end of this episode. We'll come back for the next edition of Trains vs. Zombies.